Today we're gonna to make chowder. Everyone has been requesting it. We sell a lot of it at work. And today we're actually gonna make my chowder that I make at home. Super easy, super simple, very time efficient. Let's get started. Chowder, it doesn't get more East Coast than chowder. Doug, how long have I been living here now? If you know this, I'm gonna be very impressed. I think you said the other day, uh, almost 16 years that you've been in Dartmouth, right? 17 years, okay. it's going on 17 years. And then, but then you also spent two summers That's in true. Prince Edward Island. So That's right. you have so, to add those if you're talking East 19, Coast. 19, 19 on the East Coast. And everybody on the East Coast, since I've been here now for 19 years, has their own version of a chowder, a fish chowder with either just fish or with just seafood. But this is the one that I've been making, Doug, here at home. Um, for how long? Since we've been together, probably. Yes. We always have it on Christmas Eve, though this year we had torts here. But for my chowder here at home, and this is actually really easy, most of us have these ingredients at home and you can sort of mix and match according to what you like. Always butter. I've got some double smoked bacon from Olton's. I like, what do I like in my chowder, Doug? Smoked oysters. Smoked oysters, um, because I use the oil from the oyster to begin sauteing, and then I put my oysters in at the end. Potatoes, leeks, celery, and I love putting smoked haddock in here because it gives it that wonderful smokiness. We're also using lobster and scallops, but you could use haddock, you could use, what else, Doug? What else could you put in here? Some shrimp. What's the one thing I don't like in chowder? You're very averse to things that are orange or pink, I believe, or I don't know. I definitely know carrots and salmon are not. Carrots, salmon, and trout to me are, should not be in chowder, but it doesn't mean that they're not good in chowder, it's just not in my chowder. So what I'm gonna do to start off, Doug, is I'm basically going to saute, um, I'm gonna melt my butter and put in the oil from my oysters. I'm gonna saute my bacon until it starts to render, which basically means it's pulling out some of the fat. I don't want it crispy, but I just want it to start rendering. Then we'll add our celery with the celery leaves and some leeks and our potatoes. And we're gonna get this bad boy started because we had a winter storm last night. It's cold outside. And I'm pretty sure you want a bowl of chowder today. I know I do. Nothing more comforting on a winter day, I don't find. And if I'd had time, I would have made some of the focaccia that we made in the last episode. Yes. Anyway. We'll link to that though, so people can give it a try for themselves as well. All right, I'm gonna get started, Doug. I'm hungry. All right, so I've got a little bit of butter and some of the oil from the oysters in my pot just to start melting. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter and I'm gonna add my bacon. Now you want the bacon to cook and render, meaning that it's pulling out all that fat. You don't want it to get crispy. So while this is cooking, I've started to cut some of my leeks. Doug, what is your one pet peeve with leeks? The one thing I hate about leeks is when they're not cleaned properly. It drives me absolutely nuts. Because they have all these beautiful layers and often dirt gets trapped in there. And one thing that you and I both hate I know I do, is when you eat something and it's got the grit. Yeah, nothing worse. Nothing like, worse It than really grit. drives me nuts. And that's when you have, for example, mussels in your chowder. Your mussels have to be scrubbed properly because the same thing can happen and there's, it's very off-putting and I really get angry and I sometimes start to cry. There you go, he cries. He's a man that cries. So I'm just going to dice my leeks that I've already washed. Don't worry, Doug, there is no grit and these leeks and my bacon my butter and my oyster oil are just cooking away oh it smells delicious doug do you like my chatter that i make at home or do you like the chatter that we make at work even though they're both my recipe i mean they're quite similar um i do find adding that uh, bit of um, oyster smoked oysters with the oil does give it some sort of complexity that um you don't get with the recipe at work, but I mean the one at work people absolutely love and it's won awards and it's been featured on TV and everything. So yes. obviously that one is pretty great too. True. All right. Now for my celery and I don't know if you noticed, but I do use my celery leaves. There's lots of flavor in celery leaves, Doug. Right. All right. So my bacon is rendering beautifully. I'm just going to let this cook for a few more minutes while I chop the rest of my celery. 
Now that my bacon has been rendering, I'm gonna add all of my beautiful leeks and celery. Leeks always remind me of when we started dating Doug because he used to always make potatoes with leeks for me on Saturday morning, remember that? I did, when remember you used that? to let me cook for you. That's true. Um, so in go my leeks and my celery, and this is gonna cook for about like three to four minutes. You just want it to sweat. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt. I go easy on the salt on this recipe too, just because there is the bacon. And while that is sauteing, I have some potatoes that I've um, cut up and they're sitting in water. And why is that, Doug? Well, you don't want them to turn brown while you're waiting to put them in your chowder. And you know what I do? Because this chowder is also what? Gluten-free. It's which gluten free. Is awesome. We get that question all the time at the restaurant, and people are always very happy when they hear that. So obviously I've scrubbed my potatoes, so I don't have any of that dirt and grit, but I use um, my potato water as part of my stock, which is really great because I don't use a thickener, so there's no flour, no cornstarch, nothing. This is actually just full, chock full of like vegetables and fish, and that's what gives it its thickness. Now that my potatoes and my vegetables have been simmering, I'm going to um, cube up my smoked haddock. Right, Doug? What does smoked haddock do for our chowder? Well, it gives it a nice smokiness. I mean, it's also haddock, so it's another beautiful seafood protein to throw in there as well. True, and I love smoked haddock. It basically what makes this chowder, at least that's what I think. So I'm going to put my smoked haddock in because I want it to give off some of that flavor. And the beautiful thing about smoked haddock, especially on the East Coast, is you can find it pretty much in every grocery store. And I'm gonna add some milk. Uh, Doug, you asked me like how much, but I, yeah. The recipe is always in the description, so it's probably better to look at that than to uh, ask me that question. And I'm using whole milk. Use 35% cream, which is the heavy cream, because anything else will kind of like split and curdle. So that's one question I know, Doug, a lot of people ask me that sometimes. It's like, can I not use coffee cream, but use like the biggest, thickest cream? Because remember, we're not thickening this with anything. So a little bit of 35% cream goes a very long way. Add as much as you like, as little as you like. You can do all milk, you can do all cream. It's all up to you. And now all you wanna do is let this simmer gently for about 25 minutes until the potatoes are soft. And then we're going to add in all of our fresh seafood because you don't wanna add it in the beginning because it does what? The scallops will get rubbery and some of the stuff will just not taste good at the end. That's true. So we're gonna let this cook. We're gonna... All right, the cheddar base has been simmering for about 20, 25 minutes. You just wanna make sure that the potatoes are soft. Nothing worse than a hard potato. So I've got some beautiful uh, lobster meat. So I'm gonna put in a good handful of this. I love lobster. I'm gonna put that in. All we basically wanna do at this point is heat through the fish. I'm gonna put in my smoked oysters. There we go. Stir that in quickly. And today I'm actually gonna put scallops uh, in as well. Scallops, I love, I love them seared. Um, but today, instead of searing them to garnish, we're actually just gonna chop them up and put them right in. But the first thing we have to do is remove this. What's this? It's like a tendon or a muscle, I guess. I guess we, I call it like the little foot. So we remove the little foot because when you cook it, it basically just becomes a rubber band. Not all of them have them. Sometimes you can get them cleaned, but always check to see if there's the little foot. So I'm just going to cut these into big pieces, the same size as the rest of our seafood. And this, at this point, all you wanna do is heat through. The scallops don't take long to cook. The lobster is cooked. The smoked scallops are cooked. What do you think, Doug? Oh man, are you gonna continue to tease me with this or am I gonna get to eat some soon? All right, almost, we're almost there, I swear. Dill. I love dill, feathery dill. Quickly just chop that up. And I put mine at the end as well because I don't want it to just sort of die in the soup, but I want it to give it a beautiful brightness. And then what is my, um, usually my special ingredient, Doug? You like to zest lemon into everything. That's, but I, I, I love it too, I think it's amazing. That's actually a trick from Les Fougères where I used to work in Chelsea, Quebec. 
Charlie and Jennifer put lemon, orange, and lime zest on everything. So this adds just a beautiful brightness. I can't wait. Snowy day, seafood chowder. Oh man. I'm gonna just taste it quickly, Doug, to make sure it's seasoned properly. And then I think we're ready to serve it up. Oh, it's a little bit more salt, that's it. All right, Doug, you ready for some lunch? I am, I cannot wait, let's do this. All right. All right, Doug, you ready for some chowder? So ready. All right. So ready. All right. I love chowder and I love seafood, so this is awesome. We're gonna share a bowl. Okay. Is that all right? Sharing okay. is caring, as we've said before. This go. is very exciting. So I put a little bit of dill on there, a little bit of, are you okay if I put a little cracked black pepper? I like pepper on mine. All right, that's Renee fine. probably doesn't like it as much as I do, okay. but um, this chowder smells incredible. It looks really beautiful. Well done, once again, all right. Chef Lavalle. Come on. All right, here we go. So, we are just days away from reopening at the canteen after being closed for close to two months uh, yep. from the lockdown, and then a little extended closure um, during January, but we're very excited to get be back in business. Very excited to be start serving people chowder again. Mm. Um, Truth, kids are gonna love this tonight. They're all gone sledding, so this will be their reward for getting inside. But I want to see um, how many people have uh, their own chowder recipes that they might want to share, or differences from their recipe to our recipe, because chowder is one of those things that I feel like everyone has a different. But recipe. I said it; it's all about the base, the base of the chowder, and then you add what you like. Oh man, this is so good. Right? Yes. I have a suggestion for a future episode too. What? One have of my to? favorite things with no one. Well, we can do that too. But one of my favorite things to have with chowder is one of our amazing buttery biscuits. Well, we need Bailey for that. True. So Buttery biscuits equal Bailey. Yeah, so Bailey, who's our baker extraordinaire at the restaurant, he makes the most amazing buttery, flaky uh, biscuits that we serve with the chowder, and it's such, they go so well together. It does. You dip it in the chowder, it's just amazing. Well, thank you for watching again. Let us know what you want to see in the future, and if you have any comments, I do read them. She does. I do. That's why we're doing chowder today. So please, yeah, please subscribe, like, and comment, and we will see you very soon. Happy eating. Happy eating. Happy winter. Ooh, leave some for me. Whatever.